Ida is a rare brawler in Brawl Stars who has been in the game since its beta was first released on June 14th, 2017. Since that point, she has been one of the most iconic characters in the game and one of the most recognizable characters from the Brawl Stars universe. She's so recognizable that Supercell even has wearable merchandise of her, such as this Nita Bear hat that Kairos Time is wearing. From the beginning, she was one of the most unique brawlers in the game because of Bruce, the bear that she can spawn with her super. It was a unique feature back in 2017, and it still is a feature that sets her apart in the current landscape of Brawl Stars. However, with Nita being somewhat like two brawlers in one, it means that in the almost six years of her existence, she has received a lot of changes to help her find balance in the Brawl Stars meta. So, in this video, we're going to take a look at the entire history of Nita and what her place in the Brawl Stars meta has been as time has progressed and how she has evolved as a brawler. As previously mentioned, Nita was one of the first brawlers in Brawl Stars when the game was first released. At the time, there were only 15 brawlers, which is crazy compared to the 64 brawlers that are in the game right now. Amongst the other brawlers, Nita was fairly solid. Her main attack had a decent range and can do some decent damage, and her bear was an interesting curveball that other brawlers would have to work around. However, her bear had a really interesting mechanic where its health would decay over time. This works similar to how some gadgets, such as Leon's and Stu's gadgets, work now, and it limited Bruce's viability. However, in the first ever wave of Brawl Stars balance changes, this would change. On June 20th, 2017, the health decay was removed from Bruce, and to balance it out, his HP was reduced from 1,200 to 1,000. The removal of this health decay made Nita one of the best brawlers in the game. She was relatively easy to use, and her bear provided a lot of utility as it was a reliable tool on both offense and defense. It seems like Brawl Stars recognized Nita's insane viability and decided that she needed a change to make her more balanced. As a result, on June 27, 2017, only one week later, Nita received a nerf to her reload speed. It was changed from 1 second to 1.25 seconds, meaning that her reload speed was slower now. However, despite the nerf, she remained one of the top brawlers in the game and the utility she provided was still better than any other brawler. Up until this point in Brawl Stars history, she was arguably the best brawler in the game. Although, on August 11, 2017, her reign of terror would be halted. She received a nerf making it so that her super would charge 25% slower. What made Nina so strong in the first place was her bear and how often she could use it. But nerfing this really hurt Nita in the Brawl Stars meta. It's not like she was horrible or anything, but she was much worse compared to being a top 3 brawler in Brawl Stars. She went from being dominant in almost every situation possible, to now only really being a situational brawler where the circumstances in which she's good were much more inconsistent. Nita remained in this position for a decent amount of time. From June to August, she had a lot of changes, but she would remain without changes for a few months since she was no longer oppressive and damaging to the game's meta. The next time Nita would receive a change would be on December 7th, 2017, and the changes she received here were pretty massive. First off, this update was a major rework to all brawlers in which all health and damage stats were multiplied by 4. Back then, all brawlers had much less health and damage compared to what they do now, so while this didn't change any interactions, it gave us the current health and damage system that is in current day Brawl Stars. Nita's next change was a buff in which her main attack damage was increased from 640 to 680. Not that big of a damage buff, but it definitely helped a little. And the last change that Nita got was really insane for her and made her a much more intriguing option to use. In this change, she received her Bear With Me star power. At the time, it made it so that Nita could gain 180 health whenever her bear hit an enemy, and vice versa for when Nita hit an enemy. The idea was there, but this star power wasn't very good upon initial release. It did help Nita's survivability a little bit, but 180 HP wasn't too much in the grand scheme of things. While the star power wasn't that great initially, it had so much potential to become good, and we'll talk about that later in this video. After Nita not receiving many changes for a while up until her star power, she was back to receiving frequent changes at the end of 2017 and early 2018. On December 18th, 2017, Nita received two buffs. Her health was increased from 3,200 to 3,400, and her star power healing was increased from 180 to 200. It's clear that the Brawl Stars team realized that the Bear With Me star power wasn't that great upon release. It did help Nita's viability in the meta, 
but it didn't give her the boost that other brawlers got when they received their star powers. Take Mortis for example. His creepy harvest star power upon first release catapulted him in the Brawl Stars meta and gave him so much more aggressive potential due to being able to receive health after getting a kill. Bear With Me was a solid addition, but didn't have this much of an impact. Nita was far from her glory days during the initial release of Brawl Stars. She was relatively weak, and there were other brawlers that filled her role better than she did. She was struggling and needed a savior, and that's exactly what she got. On January 16th, 2018, for the first time ever, Nita received three buffs in the same wave of balance changes. Her health was increased from 3,400 to 3,800, her star power healing was increased from 200 to 300, and her bear movement speed was increased from 500 to 550. The buffs to her health and star power were really nice additions, but the change that really helped her out was the change to make her bear faster. Nita's bear is her biggest strength, but it sometimes struggled to stick with brawlers as they all could move away from the bear to the point where it couldn't keep up. Even though this change didn't make the bear as fast as other brawlers, which would be too broken anyway, having a speed increase made Bruce much more threatening and gave Nita much more offensive potential despite her primary niche being defense. What's crazy is that two months later, on March 21st, 2018, they buffed Bruce's movement speed again. This time it went from 550 to 610, once again giving her more offensive potential. Also in this update, every brawler in the game received two separate changes, which of course affected Nita. Every brawler's movement speed was increased by 70 points, and every brawler's attack projectile speed was increased by 9%. After these, the next two changes for Nita were both buffs. Literally two days after the previous changes, on March 23rd, 2018, Nita's attack size was increased by 25%. This made it wider and made it so that she could hit more with each attack. Then on April 9th, 2018, her attack damage was buffed from 680 to 740. These two attack buffs were definitely major for Nita. More damage in a bigger attack is never a bad thing, but she still remained an average brawler despite these buffs. Her best game mode was gem grab in which she was almost a must have brawler but in pretty much every other game mode she was slightly below average and then after these changes everything went silent after this change during april nita wouldn't receive her next major changes until december i guess brawl stars figured she was fine in her current state and just left her alone and to be honest i don't totally blame them even though her viability in most game modes wasn't that great her prominence in gem grab kept Nita as a relevant brawler and gave her a spot in the meta. Nita's next change would come on December 5th, 2018, and at this point, Brawl Stars was preparing to release globally. There was a lot of hype surrounding the game, and the community was bursting with joy, excited for the future of the game. At this point, the game was undergoing some massive overhauls. The UI was changed, all maps were made three-dimensional and wider, there were new game modes and modifiers, and much more than just these. But the most important change relative to this video were the Brawler remodels. Shelly, Bull, Barley, Dynamite, Brock, and Nita all received overhauls to update them to the current iteration of Brawl Stars. And along with Nita, her skin, Panda Nita, was remodeled as well. Panda Nita was released earlier, but I wanted to wait and talk about Nita's skins until she got an overhaul. Out of all brawlers, Nita's skins might be the most valuable in the game because you're getting a skin for Nita, but also for Bruce as well. It's basically a 2-in-1 skin deal when you really think about it. For Panda Nita, which is only 29 gems, that is some insane value for what you're getting. I wanted to mention this when we got to the Panda Nita remodel, and I'll be sure to cover all of Nita's other skins throughout this video as well. Then of course, there was the global release of Brawl Stars, which happened on December 12th, 2018. This was a momentous day in Brawl Stars history, and it instantly became one of the most popular mobile games on the market. It's crazy that we're this far into the video, and everything that's happened to Nita so far was during the game's beta. She's seen a lot of changes, and we still have many more years to cover. Anyway, let's keep chugging along and talk about all the changes that Nita underwent from the global release and onward. The first change that Nita received after Brawl Stars global release was her receiving her second skin, Red Nose Nita. This was a 150 gem skin upon initial release, but was discounted to be 109 gems. It featured Nita wearing cold weather attire, including a scarf, jeans, boots, a sweater, and mittens, along with a reindeer hat. 
Bruce also got the holiday treatment as he looks pretty cozy in his costume. Along with Red Nose Nina, there was also the infamous Santa Mike and Lil Helper Penny. Of these three, I think Santa Mike is the best skin, but once again, Red Nose Nita has so much value because you're getting a cool skin for Nita as well as Bruce. In terms of Nita's standings in the meta during global release, she was a very solid brawler in the grand scheme of things. Once again, she was a must pick for gem grab and remained decent in almost every other game mode, especially Brawl Ball. There are many brawlers better than her, but she could still hold up in most situations. For Nita's first ever balance change during global release, this occurred on January 29th, 2019. During this change, her Bear With Me star power received its biggest buff yet. Its healing was increased by 200 points, making it 500 instead of 300. At this point, Bear With Me was still arguably one of the worst star powers in the game, but receiving a 67% buff was a great change on paper. While her Bear With Me star power became better, it didn't change Nita's position too much in the meta. She remained an S tier brawler for gem grab, become even better after the star power buff, but arguably became worse in every other game mode. This wasn't really her fault though, as at this point, the Brawl Stars meta shifted to becoming much more assassin focused. Brawlers like Daryl, Leon, and Mortis all shined, and the meta kinda had to adapt to countering those brawlers effectively, and with Nita's low damage output in comparison to those other brawlers, it made it difficult for her to compete. This next change that Nita received is still my favorite change that Nita has ever received in her entire history in Brawl Stars, and that change was the Shiba Nita skin. This skin was released in celebration of Golden Week, and the vibes were just amazing during this time in Brawl Stars. The background had little Shiba Inu dogs, there was a special background music that had these adorable dogs barking, which you can hear in the background right now, and then of course, there was the Shiba Nita skin to top it all off. Similar to Red Nose Nita, the skin was released at 150 gems, but discounted to be 109 gems. And when you look at this skin, it really is just perfection. Nita is wearing this adorable schoolgirl uniform with a backpack, and then has this adorable dog on top of her head. Then, we have Bruce, who is just absolutely perfect. Instead of being a bear, he is this big adorable dog with his tongue sticking out. And this whole skin is just top tier. I could honestly talk about this skin forever, but we'll move on because we have more important things to get to. Speaking of important things, this next update was really important for Brawl Stars. On June 26, 2019, every brawler in Brawl Stars received their second star power. These would add a whole new level of strategy for each brawler, and in some cases, change the way in which the brawler would be played. And for Nita, this was exactly the case. Her second star power was called Hyper Bear. Basically, it doubled the attack speed of her bear, allowing it to do much more damage. Nita's bear had become more so limited to being a defensive tank as the meta evolved, but this star power would give Bruce much more offensive potential. She remained one of the top brawlers in gem grab as she previously had been pretty much forever, but she also started to shine and heist a little bit as well as Brawl Ball. Taking her bear with the Hyper Bear star power and then just dropping it on the heist safe could result in a lot of damage really fast. And for Brawl Ball, her additional offensive prowess made her a better pick as well. For the first time in a while, Nita was a highly picked brawler in more than one game mode. The Benevolent Bear was starting to shine more in the Brawl Stars meta, but things wouldn't stop here. Things were only going to get better. Across September and October of 2019, Nita received three buffs. Her Hyper Bear star power attack speed was increased from 50% to 60%, her health was increased from 3,800 to 4,000, and her main attack was increased from 740 to 800 damage. At this point, Nita was already doing pretty well in the meta as I had previously mentioned. So, why did Supercell give her these buffs? Well, here's the answer to that question. Nita was a strong brawler in the more casual trophy ranges, but at the higher and more competitive trophy ranges, not many people were using her as they were picking other brawlers in her place. Boom, there's your answer. As a result of these changes, she became even better in heist than before. Her bear could now do even more damage to the safe, and Nita herself was tankier and can do more damage as well. Her ascension in heist was becoming really interesting to pay attention to, 
and more and more people in the Brawl Stars community were paying attention to her as a viable option in the game mode. But before we talk more about Nita and Heist, we have to talk about one of the best things that Brawl Stars has ever done in the game's history and how Nita was a central part of it. 2020, of course, was an interesting year due to the virus that will not be named, but even before that, there was another tragedy that happened that caught global attention. These were the massive bushfires that were going around Australia that were burning millions of acres of nature and destroying the homes of many animals as well. To help provide some aid to Australia in their time of need, Brawl Stars did an in-game fundraiser with Nita being at the forefront of it. They created the Koala Nita skin, and all proceeds of the skin would be donated to WFF Australia and the Australian Red Cross to provide relief to those who were being affected by the bushfires. It's safe to say that the campaign was a pretty good success. After being in the Brawl Stars shop for only a week, more than 150,000 players bought the Koala Nita skin, which is a really large number for an in-game skin. And looking at the skin, it's a pretty solid skin as well. Upon release, it was 80 gems, which is cheaper than Red Nose Nita and Shiba Nita, but more expensive than Panda Nita. Looking at Nita, my favorite feature of hers is the necklace that she is wearing, which is actually the world, but Australia is turned to face the front. A very nice touch. And then of course there's Bruce, who is a massive koala, but also a firefighter at the same time. For 80 gems, this was definitely a worthwhile skin for Nita, and it supported a great cause as well. Moving on to March of 2020, Brawl Stars received another major game-changing update, Gadgets. The game needed something new to shake up strategy and the meta, and Gadgets did just that. Every brawler in the game received one gadget, and Nita was no exception. Her gadget was called Bear Paws. With this gadget, whenever her bear was on the map, she could activate it, and enemies within a certain radius of Bruce would get stunned for about one second. And for a period of time, this gadget is what would catapult Nita into being one of the best brawlers in Brawl Stars once again. She was last considered one of the best brawlers back in 2017, and this gadget elevated her to that point once again. However, it wasn't necessarily the gadget alone that brought her back to this point. It was the gadget paired with her Hyper Bear star power that made her an absolute powerhouse. The combination of these two made it so that you could drop Nita's bear on enemies, activate the gadget, and Bruce would just do so much damage in such a short amount of time. Nita would retain her position in Gem Grab and Brawl Ball as being one of the better options to choose from, but for the first time ever, Gem Grab wasn't considered to be Nita's best game mode. That title would be replaced by Heist. You could drop Nita's bear on the Heist safe, and then if the enemy got close enough to try to take it out, you could just activate the gadget and stun the enemies for one second. One second may not seem like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, one second can result in a lot of damage from Bruce. It's crazy how for a period of time, if you didn't have Anita on your heist team, then you were putting yourself at an automatic disadvantage. The synergy of Hyper Bear and Bear Paws was insanely strong for a decent period of time. However, after two months of Nita's reign of terror, Supercell finally had enough of her shenanigans. So, on May 13th, 2020, Nita's gadget was nerfed to only have two charges per match instead of three. Now, this didn't totally remove Nita's viability and heist, but it kept her strength in check. The Hyper Bear Bear Paws synergy was still there, but because of the nerf, Nita now had less chances to unleash her wrath on the heist safe. She remained a viable option in heist because of this synergy, but she wasn't a must pick anymore, making her more balanced. After this nerf, this is the last change that Nita would receive for a little while. However, her usage and viability started to decline a bit. It's not like she received any more nerfs or any major changes, so why was this the case? Well, I think it just comes down to the evolution of the meta. During the summer of 2020, there were two brawlers in particular that dominated the game over everyone else, Gale and Surge. Because of their strength, the meta had to adapt to using those brawlers or using brawlers to counter Gale and Surge, and as a result, Nita just kind of fell in the standings a little bit. It's unfortunate, but that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So to help her out, or to try to help her out at least, Nita would get four changes on September 10th, 2020. This balance update was a little weird, as a lot of brawlers got changes to their supercharge rates, and Nita was no exception to this. 
She got two buffs to her super charge rate to where it would take her six hits instead of seven to charge her super, and it would take 10 hits instead of 12 for Bruce to charge her super. But this next change that she got was a big one. Her bear paws gadget was buffed back from two to three, but a one second delay was added before the bear was able to stun anyone. So overall, the gadget got a buff, but it also got a nerf at the same time. But that one second delay in reality took more viability away from her gadget. This rework, however, didn't change Nita's position too much in the Brawl Stars meta. To keep it real, she was just kind of there. She wasn't overly broken, but she wasn't terrible either. She was just average. That's not a bad spot to be in, but in reality, it's pretty boring when you think about it. And to keep it real, the next few changes for Nita were pretty boring as well. On October 22nd, 2020, she received two buffs. Her reload speed was changed from 1.25 seconds to 1.1 seconds to make it faster, and it was changed so that Bruce could now move and attack while activating its gadget. Now I said that the next few changes were all boring, but this other gadget change was actually pretty interesting. This would give Nita much more flexibility with her gadget use and give her more opportunities to stun enemies with it. However, that one second delay was still there, so the viability of the gadget was limited. Up until this point in Brawl Stars, every brawler had one gadget, but some brawlers were starting to get second gadgets. Nita unfortunately wasn't one of those brawlers, and she was missing out on all of the fun. However, this would change for Nita on November 13th, 2020, as along with a bunch of other brawlers, Nita would receive her second gadget. The name of the gadget was called Faux Fur. This gadget got three charges and would give Bruce a shield that would negate 35% of incoming damage for the next three seconds. Not a super original mechanic as other brawlers in the game already had star powers or gadgets that would give them shields, but being able to shield damage in Brawl Stars is never a bad thing. And because of this gadget not being bad, it gave Nita some interesting combinations to use with her star powers and gadgets. For Heist, Faux Fur and Hyper Bear would become the new go-to combo. Again, Hyper Bear can do so much safe damage, and then the shield from Faux Fur would allow Bruce to do more damage to the safe by keeping him alive longer. However, outside of Heist, in game modes like Gem Grab and Brawl Ball, Bear Paws remain the better gadget, and it would work well with really either star power. This gadget, Faux Fur, would give Nita a little more viability. She went from being an average brawler to a slightly above average brawler and started to see more usage in every game mode. And this time period in general was actually a really balanced Brawl Stars meta overall. A lot of brawlers were pretty good in the game and there weren't many brawlers who were crazy good or crazy bad. And Nita fit right in the middle of that continuum, just being a really solid brawler overall. And for this really solid brawler, her next change would be a couple of buffs and one nerf as well. On December 15th, 2020, her main attack damage was increased from 800 to 880, and her Bear With Me star power received a massive buff. Instead of healing 500 HP, it would now heal 800 HP. And for a nerf, her Bear With Me star power would no longer work if it was hitting spawnable objects or pets, so this would include items like Jesse's turret or Bo's super totem. It really is interesting to look at the evolution of the Bear With Me star power. When it was first introduced in Brawl Stars, it could only heal 180 health, but worked its way up to being able to heal 800 health. That legitimately might be the biggest increase of any stat in the history of Brawl Stars. This is a 344% increase, which is really crazy when you think about it. Anyway, looking at Nita, at this point in Brawl Stars history, this might be the period of time in which she was the most widely used. She had legitimate viability in Gem Grab, Heist, Hot Zone, and Siege, four very prominent game modes. She wasn't the best in any of these game modes, but being this widely used in this many game modes is a difficult task for any brawler to achieve. But Nita was in this position. And in the history of Nita, after carving a very prominent niche in the meta, this is also the point where things would take an interesting turn. This last balance change on December 15th, 2020 would be the last balance change that Nita would receive for almost two years. Literally no buffs and no nerfs whatsoever. And to be honest, I find this to be a little bit odd. She remained solid for a period of time, but as time progressed, she started to fall out of favor 
and become somewhat underwhelming. Especially throughout the duration of 2021, Nita was pretty much a complete afterthought. She was at a point again where she was just kind of existing for the sake of existing with no real role in Brawl Stars. She wasn't terrible, but she wasn't even average, which is a really weird place to be. But then things got even worse. She kept falling and falling until the point where there was practically no one using her. Nita was always the definition of consistency in Brawl Stars, but this was the first point in her history where she was genuinely a bad brawler. While she may have been an afterthought in the Brawl Stars meta, she did receive some pretty cool skins during this time period, so let's take a look at those. During this dark age for Nita in Brawl Stars, she received four skins. On April 7th, 2021, she received her True Gold and True Silver skins. The True Silver skin was purchasable for 10,000 gold, and the True Gold skin was purchasable for 25,000 gold. These skins don't add too much for Nita as they are just recolors of her, but they are a nice flex to show that you have a little bit of gold to spend. On July 16th, 2021, Whale Watch Nita was introduced. This was a skin that was part of the Supercell Mate program in which people competed to have their skin put in the game. All things considered, this might be the most valuable Nita skin in all of Brawl Stars. Nita has a cool lifeguard outfit with an inner tube, a cool starfish necklace, and a snorkel on her head. And then Bruce is this big whale with a lifeguard whistle and some safety equipment on his back. The detail on this skin is absolutely insane, and upon release, it was only 79 gems. While Shiba Nita is still my favorite Nita skin, I still think that this skin is better made and also much more worth the gem cost. The next Nita skin wouldn't come until January 17th, 2022, and this was the Nyan Nita skin. This was the Power League skin for that particular season, and you could purchase it for 25,000 star points if you won a certain number of Power League games. To be honest, I don't know what the exact terminology is for what Nita and Bruce are supposed to look like, but they look super unique. Bruce has the super menacing vibe to him, and then Nita looks adorable as always. Definitely another top tier skin for Nita. And this brings us to the last balance change that Nita has received up until this point. On August 31st, 2022, Nita received two buffs. Her main attack damage was increased from 880 to 960, and her super charge rate was decreased from 6 to 5, allowing her to charge her super faster. It's safe to say that Nita was struggling a little bit, and she was honestly at the worst that she had ever been. Kairos Time even ranked her in the F tier of his tier list. That's how bad she was. However, these buffs would help her out a ton. She went from being one of the worst brawlers to being fairly solid once again. She had a wide range of utility in many game modes as she did previously, and the Brawl Stars team saved her from being one of the worst brawlers in the game. Now, we have the final change that Nita has received up until this point, and that is Gummy Bear Nita. This is the tier 1 Brawl Pass skin for Season 16, and like the rest of Nita's skins, I really like this one. Nita has a really bright and flashy gummy bear dress, and her gummy bear hat has a bite taken out of it, which is pretty cool. And then for Bruce, well, he's just a big gummy bear. Pretty adorable. And so now, we have covered the entire history of Nita in Brawl Stars. As a whole, Nita has been through a lot in her history in Brawl Stars. She's had moments where she's been a top brawler, and she's had moments of being terrible. But if there's one word that would best describe Nita, it would be consistent. For the most part, she's always had a spot in the Brawl Stars meta, and that is primarily due to her versatility as a brawler. Her main attack has decent range, decent damage, and then Bruce gives her a lot of extra utility on both offense and defense. While there are much more interesting brawlers in Brawl Stars, I wanted to talk about Nita because she is one of the OG characters and a brawler that you can always rely on and have a pretty fun time while using. Thank you for watching this Brawl Stars history video. I hope that you all enjoyed, and I hope that you all have a nice rest of your day.